What's up, Bronis, Ponies, Coast Enthusiasts, and other creatures? My name is Dress Manulus, and today I'm gonna have to talk about a very controversial opinion about Pantheon. That I really don't think it looks that great. Now, quick disclaimer before I start this video I haven't tried Pantheon. And I won't get out to try Pantheon in the future, near future at least. I don't know, I have no plans to go to America. But let's just start the video. But before we start, we of course need to have some info on this coaster. This is an intimate multi-launch coaster. Of course at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. This was meant to open in 2020, but only opened recently here in 2022. Pantheon is 1014 meters or 3328 feet long and has a height of 54 meters or 178 feet. The top speed is 117 kilometers per hour or 73 miles per hour. It has two inversions and have a 95 degree angle. So now let's get into the actual analysis. So to start off, we have this little twisty section right here. I don't believe that that would give anything at all. And then it goes into the first launch, which actually looks pretty decent. And the same does the zero G roll and the next turn, which looks again, pretty decent. I don't have any problems there. Then we have some kind of twister section, which, why is this there? It, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I know it's twisty and stuff, but it doesn't look to do anything at all, actually. It's just there, I guess. Alright, then you come into the second launch. Or I am the third for that matter. Because this is a multi-pass launch with an airtime hill in the middle. This, for me, looks absolutely like the best part of the ride. This looks awesome. And I'm also gonna come back to this a little bit later. Then we're gonna go into a top hat, which goes so extremely slow. It doesn't look like it's gonna give airtime on top of it, only going down, which that's kind of disappointing. And I would actually wish that there actually was airtime on the rest of it because that would probably make this extremely good. Not because it would make it so much better in my opinion, but it would make it just a little bit better. Then we're gonna go to an outer bank, which doesn't look to give that much. And even because the studio said it didn't give that much, so I guess I'm kind of right. But it doesn't look like it does a whole lot other than just, whoa, you're almost, if not actually 90 degrees. But let's just go on and let's go into the Zero G stall, which it's a stall. It's gotta be great, you know, it's a Zero G stall. Those are always great, I've heard. And then we, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the wave turn, which looks like to be okay, better than the outer bank, but the wave turn looks to be better than this. Hopefully, I don't know. It looks like to be something like Iron Glossy, like right over the station, hopefully. But yeah, that's really the whole coast, and then it's just in there. So, now that I go through the coaster itself, I just want to talk about why I don't think that this is as amazing that people make it out to be. And that's mostly because of the length. If that multi-pass launch wasn't there, this would be an extremely short ride. Now, it's not only because it's a short ride, because short rides is good sometimes. <coughs> IMC Raptor. But... When it comes to Pantheon, it just looks like there needs to be more. You can't just stop it with only a, that few elements. I know there is a lot, but it just don't feel like a lot when I watch the POV. Again, I can't really say anything until I actually try it. And that's probably not gonna happen in the next 10 years or something. So... I'm just gonna put this video out and hope for the best, but yeah, 
there's nothing much else to say. If you like the video, then please subscribe or like. If you didn't, then just like it. You can't really see it anymore, but I don't care. And comment if you want. And then I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bro.